On March 14, 1968, thousands of sheep were found dead across the landscape at the Dugway Proving Ground in Utah. At the time, what looked like a mystery phenomenon brought light to the US military's secret attempts to test and stockpile millions of dollars worth of chemical weapons. The Dugway Proving Ground was the US Army's largest base for chemical and biological weapons testing. Spokespeople at the facility had denied the allegations until US Senator Frank Moss released a Pentagon document proving otherwise. A high-speed plane had reportedly sprayed almost 1,500 litres of the nerve agent VX across the Dugway Proving Ground as part of a weapons test. But the delivery tanks had malfunctioned and released the agent at a much higher altitude which sent the deadly nerve agent far from the testing grounds, killing some 6,000 sheep in 24 hours and leaving others ill for weeks before they eventually died. The nerve agent VX is an odorless and tasteless chemical and only 10 grams of it is enough to kill a human by asphyxiation. It was the same agent used to kill North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's brother in 2017. Western nations had signed the 1925 Geneva Protocol after World War I, which prohibits the use of chemical and biological weapons. But the US never ratified the agreement, and between 1961 and 1969 alone, the US spent $2 billion on its chemical weapons stockpile. The US national stockpile of lethal chemical warfare agents primarily involved free nerve agents and free resicant or blister agents. The US public was mostly unaware of the dangers associated with storing, stockpiling, testing and transporting such chemical weaponry. From 1967 to 1970, the US initiated its cut holes and sink em operation, where thousands of tons of old chemical warfare agents were loaded onto ships and intentionally sunk in the sea, without keeping any records of where or how many weapons were disposed of. 